closure has finally come for Ismail Elhani. The Syrian man believes his son was tortured and killed by Bashar al-Assad's regime after family members saw a photo published online as part of the United States Caesar Act. Muhammad Elhani's whereabouts have been unknown since he was arrested by the regime nine years ago. You know, a law called the Caesar Act came out recently. The village residents came to me and showed the links where the photos were published. I also identified my son Muhammad among the published photos. My heart just bleeds for the death of my son Muhammad. My son died from torture. The photos are part of the testimony of an individual known only as Caesar, a former Syrian military forensic photographer. He presented to the United Nations and the US Congress 55,000 photos he took of people tortured to death in the Assad regime's prisons. They were verified and became known as the 2014 Syrian detainee report. The pictures are now on display at the United States Holocaust Museum and the UN. Rights groups say the horrifying photographs show scenes comparable to the depravity of the Nazis. For Syrians like Ismail Alhani, the photos bring so much grief. For others still hoping for the return of loved ones, it's the not knowing. Like Safa Umsami, whose brother Mahir was also arrested in 2011 by military authorities. He was later charged with funding terror groups at a time Syrian protests were still peaceful. Umsami says the last they heard was in 2017 that he was still being detained. I never give up. I hope Maher will be released and come back to us. But when I saw the pictures of the tortured Syrians, I wished he had died just to be relieved. I just wanted to know if he was dead or alive. Rights groups say it is unlikely the regime will release any prisoners or admit what happened to them in custody. The regime doesn't release the detainees because its goal is to terrify the Syrian people. It wants to take them hostage to achieve political gains on the ground. The regime doesn't open the detainees' file because large numbers of detainees were finished off in extrajudicial executions. So this is a holocaust and a crime against the humanity. The regime tries to buy time to escape from accountability. But the groups also say the Caesar Act as well as recent actions by the EU to sanction and prosecute those responsible could mean the regime's impunity is coming to an end and some justice may eventually be served. Shweb Hassan, TRT World.